What's up? It's Eli with 8042. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reverse the sound of sound effects. So we just created a tutorial where we showed you how to create this sound effect. Stages, then we can find ourselves. All right, so it's a little slide up. We went on Artlist and just quickly downloaded a sound effect. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this sound effect by selecting it with my selection tool. You can just click on it, zoom out just a little bit. I'm going to hold down Alt. And I'm going to drag this sound effect to create a duplicate copy of it. Hold down Alt, drag your sound effect, release your sound effect while you're still holding Alt. In fact, I'm still holding Alt to this day right now, believe it or not. Now I let it go. All right, then let's click over here to the end and let's zoom up on this copied sound effect. What we want to do next is we want to find... What we want to do next is we want to go ahead and put our cursor on the kind of first keyframe before this animation, this outro animation starts. So I'm going to go back. My blue keyframes light up. I know that this is the frame before the animation starts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my sound effect, make sure that we're close, right click, click on speed duration, and then click reverse speed. Okay, if I click reverse speed, you'll notice that the audio waves just shifted a little bit. And what we did is we essentially by reversing the speed, we also reversed the audio. So we reverse the way that it sounds. So if we have an animation for sound effect that like sounds like it's going in, like whoosh, if we have a sound effect that sounds like it's going in, like whoosh, and we reverse the speed, it will sound like whoosh, like it will sound like it's coming out. If that makes sense. All right. So let's listen. And as I go through. All right. So as you can see, we have these two sound effects now. Here's the intro. Then we can find ourselves having. Here's the outro. Stages. And as I go through these four stages, I want you to figure out where you All right. And then, for example, we can just copy and paste these sound effects. All right. So that's how you can quickly take an intro sound effect and turn it into an outro sound effect in Premiere Pro. All right. If you want to quickly copy and paste kind of sound effects that show up multiple times in your Premiere Pro project, I'm going to show you a quick hack for that. So we're going to zoom up on the first sound effect that we're working with. If you go ahead and play this, you can see what it's doing. Four stages, then we can find us. All right, we've got a color mat that swipes in, some text that appears, and then a sound effect that shows up. Now, how can we perfectly copy this to other animations where this happens? Well, if you'll notice the first frame of this animation, it starts. So what I want to do is I want to grab my razor tool and I want to make a cut in the sound effect. Now, by making a cut in the sound effect, you're not actually putting a space in between the sound effects. So there's not going to be some awkward pause or anything. I'll prove it to you. Let's watch this. All right. But now what you've done is you've identified a magnetic kind of click point for Premiere Pro. So if you were to, let's say, grab your selection tool, copy this sound effect by selecting it, press Alt and drag it somewhere else in the timeline. Ah, well now we can perfectly clip into any other point in the timeline. So what I've done is I've perfectly aligned this cut that we made to the start of the next animation. All right, so if we watch this now, four stages, I want you to figure out where you, we've just, quickly duplicated that sound effect. We could do the same thing for the outro. I can press my C or my razor tool. I can make a clip for the end of the text. And then I can select that, hold down Alt, bring my sound effect over until it clips in place. And then let's watch. And then the steps that I take you through. See that? Super easy. Hopefully that helped. Drop your questions in the comment section below. I'm going to be going through those making separate tutorials. If there's anything that I could help you with, if there's anything that I could help you with, just let me know.